question. Your first function. Um, so in this exercise, you're supposed to write these two uh, lines here. And what what should we do? Implement the min and the max function using if something, then x, else y. Note, those functions already exist and can be accessed using libmin and libmax. However, don't use libmin and max here, but instead implement them yourself in this exercise. So let's do this then. Like in the last exercise, we know we get uh, two arguments and we see that already here. So we can do a and b. And since it's the min, we have to compare if, oh no, it resetted my, my values. That's probably a bug. So we have a and b and we should do the min if a is smaller b than a else b. And pretty much the same goes for the maximum. However, if a is greater than b. So that should be it. Okay, wonderful. And we can also play with these numbers over here. So we can make this uh, three, three into a seven and run it again. And we see your solution. Here we have the five because it wants the minimum. And here the maximum, let's make this an 11. And we see that the maximum is the 11, which is correct. And if we make this a negative one and run it again, it should be nine. However, it tells us that there's an error here. So what we can do in this case, and this is also like finally, like in this experiment, finally compare min and max with the arguments like nine and minus, minus one. What we can do here is we use the um, braces here and then it takes this as an integer, I guess, and just makes the comparison correct. Um, okay, then what happens if we create an infinite recursion with the min? Let's do this also. So instead of doing something useful here, we can just call min again with a and b and then run. And as you can see here, got a rather long stack trace <laughs> and that is not good. Uh, but at some point it just exits the stack with a meaningful error message. And this is the uh, recursion or infinite recursion example. And then the other question is, how can we actually access the library functions from here? So let's just use uh, libmin for, for a second and revert this back to, um, do I want to reset it? Yeah, let's reset it. So we can pr press reset here, paste these values and run again. And then it tells us, I don't know what lib is. And the thing is, you need to import from Nix packages. Um, so this set of um, Nix tooling also has Nix packages bundled in. And in a later question or in the solution, we can basically find this line here. And I just copied this from a later example. And let's just use this in, in our example here. So we put it before the lat. Now we imported Nix packages and now there should be a lib. And in this case, it works because now we can access this function, which is defined inside uh, Nix packages or packet pkgs slash lib. And it uses the implementation from there. So as also pointed out in the solution here, this is the way to access the library. And I think that's all for this exercise. Let's continue with the next one.